Well, hello, my adventurous boys and girls. Today's episode is brought to you by Dairy Bar, the front wheel crash bar point of view, and the shortcut that wasn't so short. After loading up and getting packed away from the morning, getting some food, we started the uh, part two of the cat um, during day three. So yeah, we're a little bit behind, but we're having fun. I mean, a lot of fun. I love roadside attractions and I love old graveyards. Um, typically every time I go for a ride I will stop and take a look uh, at old graveyards because it reminds me of why I'm out here, what it is that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to experience and explore life and that our life is is short and temporary and not to be morbid with that but it's actually, it's actually a motivator for me to go out and experience and participate and to share love and joy with people and, and to be good spirited about it. Um, but I'd never seen so many small graveyards as I'd seen while through Kentucky. I, I've seen a lot of hidden ones up in Iowa and other places in Missouri and Kansas. But sometimes we'd, we'd go by and there'd be four or five um, stones, and that was all. Um, so it was really it was really kind of a a somber somber moment, and I really appreciate it. On day three, the pace really picked up quite a bit. Uh, we started getting some significant mileages. We had a lot more uh, pavement, a lot more twistsies and curvies and, and fun, fun free-flowing roads. Um, and we actually kind of got back on track. I, all the way up to day four, things were just really moving along well. Hey, Larry, if we get a flat spot, we can stop for a moment. I'd appreciate it. Now on these 500 pound bikes, one of the fastest ways to make a trip unenjoyable is to pick your bike up by yourself over and over. And why do I say that? Because man, you get really, really tired fast and then you have more falls and then it gets more tired and then you have more falls. So riding with a group, always wait for somebody to come over and help pick up your bike. Oh yeah. I want to say thanks to the uh, Kansas Rally Team. About two years ago, I went and took a uh, uh, one day. Actually, it was a two day. I only ended up getting to be able to do one day adventure riding. Um, beginner's class and one of the things that I found really interesting besides the guy on a like 15 year old GS 1200 with bald tires ripping through a uh, <laughs> from ATV park um, was that they actually had us practice riding ruts and almost every place I've ever been you know when I ride with people everyone's trying to stay out of the rut stay on top and I, I really want to say thanks for encouraging me to just get into the rut, use it as a kind of a steering aid and, and go for it. Um, that's what we kind of did here, about the only option you really had.
Now, right about this point, I started thinking to myself, hmm, we've got a lowered tiger. Where the heck is the airbox on that baby? I might want to go around. But Boyd, you know, being the adventurous guy, says, hey, let's let's try this uh Let's try this ledge over here, and then I realize no. that's gonna work. That's a ditch down there, man. Be very careful. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, oh, there goes Larry. Troy, is there any type of a road that would suggest that the one behind us goes around the lake? Yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Fell out. The, trail, the other trail goes around. It's got one little, it's got one little deep section, but the other one goes around. I got off in that rut and just nailed it and just fucking powered up. Perfect. to the right. Yeah, shoot for the middle. Shoot straight down the middle. I think it's your... There you go, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Swept straight a really down. nice day. Uh, uh -huh. A little bit of some effort, but not too much, quite truthfully. We decided it was time to hit to the campgrounds, and uh, on our way there, about 10 minutes away, we, we ran across Dairy Bar, and we were kind of excited because we were hungry, and just another night of dehydrated or rehydrated meals wasn't what I was looking forward to. So we got in here, uh, had a good time. Food was um, mediocre, unfortunately. Um, had a little uh, local culture uh, come by, but best of all, we had a little photo contest to see who was more attractive, me, Elvis, or Mike. And I gotta tell you, it's kind of a toss up. Well, thanks for hanging out again with me. This is a shot of our campgrounds. If you like what we're putting together, uh, like and subscribe. If not, we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.